Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your reading from now until October 15th. This is for Aries Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. We're just going to see whatever comes up. Uh, typically my readings are love readings, but you never know. And this reading will not resonate with every single person that watches it. You know what I mean? It just doesn't. It won't. Okay? It, it will with some. It will. It won't with some. Okay? Ooh, judgment. This is judgment day. Okay? It's judgment day. It's about some sort of epiphany or awakening or something like that. You may be going through some sort of awakening or you are receiving some sort of clarity, okay, some sort of truth. Now this is also a card of reconciliation. It's also a card of forgiveness. It's also a card of releasing the past. It's a release. It's a huge release. You guys have been stuck for quite some time. You've been stuck waiting for this by the looks of things. You guys have been struggling. You've been struggling. To release putting in a lot of effort to make you've been putting in effort to make something last you've been making some compromises but here this is very logical ooh yeah there's discontent it's like there's an opportunity that is being an opportunity. There's probably more than one opportunity. It's like you're 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 missing something. You are missing something because you're you're fo only focused on one thing. What are you focused on? You're focused on one thing and you're missing something. It has to do with your heart. Are you focused too much on your money? Or your job or something, your home or something other than your heart? I don't know what the hell this is. This is undesirable message coming in. This is undesirable news. You could be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius. This person may be... I don't know. Let me get some more cards. We definitely have some immature energy here. And this could be from children. You could be dealing with some children that are causing some animosity in your life. There's definitely a release going on. Okay, this is a release as well. It's like dropping the burden. I'm going to drop this. And I think that you've been really stuck on dropping it. It's like, you don't want to drop it, but... I mean, you don't want to just give up on this, but I think you're at the point of, you know, I've given it my all. I've put in a lot of effort. I've tried to compromise. I've tried to give it my all. But I think that you're at the point of collapse, okay? You're at the point of collapse where you don't have any more to give. And I feel as though... You are dealing with somebody that is, is cold, 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 okay? You are. So um, maybe that's why you're getting some sort of awakening. You're going through getting some sort of epiphany. You're realizing the truth because perhaps you're dealing with somebody who's cold and now it's time for you to free yourself. This is These are both, I mean, the Ten of Swords... Reverse next to the Ten of Wands. Reverse is like personal freedom. It's liberation. It's goodbye. Goodbye. I am going to hold my head up high and head in a new direction towards victory and success because 
there's no hope here. There's no, there's not anything else I can do. I, you know, I think that you guys are giving up on a situation in which you've held on to for quite some time. And there's really no wish fulfillment left. There's no more growth. It's like you can't heal from it because you're still in it. You know, you have to release it to start the healing process. And I see that you guys are going to probably free yourself. You're going to cut yourself free. You guys are, are ending a chapter. These are both tens. They're, they're completions. It's like this has to end. This has to end so that I can bring peace and harmony to back to my life. And right now there's no peace. There's no healing. There's no, you know, I'm not feeling emotionally fulfilled in this situation. And it's bringing me down. I think you're dealing with somebody that... Or a situation that is really, really bringing you down. You know what I mean? And you've given it your all and you're sick of it. It's like I'm sick of sacrificing my health, my my thoughts, my feelings, my peace on your immature ways or whatever the hell it is. Um... Here it's like, I believe in myself. I, it, I believe in myself. This is believing in oneself. This is a card of listening to, listening to your inner guide. Your inner guide is giving you the answer that you need. It's like you are being divinely guided to, to let go, to complete, to let go. Let go. Because there's no more wish fulfillment here. It's, there's not. It's like you've lost hope in this situation. It's like there's no hope. There's no hope. And it's sad when there's no hope, right? It is sad. But this right here says have faith. And this is lack of faith. It says, have faith. This is about letting your guard down. It's time for you to stop fighting. It's like, I'm give up the fight. And that's what this is. It's time for me to stop fighting for this. It's time for me to give up this fight. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight. I want to fight for this. I feel like you guys are have come to a point where I'm ready to follow my own path. I'm ready to go my own way. I feel as though you are receiving divine guidance that is pushing you out of a situation that no longer serves you. It's trying to liberate you from something that has really overwhelmed you for quite some time. I feel like it's time for you to give up this fight to get somebody to open up that is not going to open up. Somebody that is not going to budge. It's time for you to just say, you know what? I'm, I'm, cutting, I'm cutting you free. I'm, I'm cutting myself free. Because I've put in all the effort that I can put in. Yeah, it's like I'd rather, I'd rather be alone. This person is bringing your self-esteem down. It's like your self-esteem, your self-worth, your self, everything has gone downhill. And you're feeling ungrateful. I mean, that's what this is. It's like you're, you're facing some sort of storm because I think of another person. And I think it's probably, it could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. It could be any other sign, but that's what it looks like to me. I feel like... Um, You've been carrying some sort of heavy load that has really, really, really weighed you down. And the, well, even if it's not a load, it's this, these, it could be thoughts, you know what I mean? It could be something. I think this person, I think you're dealing with a person that is overpowering you in some way. And it's really brought you backwards. It has. And I feel like right now you're, you're not feeling like, abundant in this situation anymore it's like I, i'm at a complete loss here it, it looks like something is is falling away your own securities are falling you know you're there's insecurity here 
your own securities, the way you used to be, be secure is, is this person is making you feel insecure. And, you know, it, it's time for you to to move in a new direction, but you have this fear of change. I think you're indecisive. Um, you have this fear of the unknown for some reason. You have this fear of the unknown. I think that you keep on delaying this, this outcome because you'd, you'd like to know what's going to happen if you, if you go through this new door, if you walk away, you know, if you drop this situation, you'd like to know what's going to happen in the future, you know. It's almost like, well, right now I'm safe. You know, because I'm not alone, you know, even though me and this person don't get along, at least we communicate, right? Or whatever the case is, at least I have somebody, whatever it is. I think there's fear of perhaps even being alone. I don't, I'm afraid to be alone. I don't want to be alone. And, and I know a lot of you are so strong, you're not afraid to be alone. But being, and that doesn't mean this has to be a partnership. This could be like a mother or a father or somebody or a family or child that... Somebody, I think this is more family real, related, honestly. Uh, that's what I think. I think this is honestly related to family where, could be a lover though, where, you know, somebody doesn't want to be alone, but they know that this isn't working out. They know that this isn't working out and they know that it's time to go down that new path and stop this all this fighting that's causing so much stress because, you know, stress kills. And stop all this whatever it is and, and really you know, just forgive and release and move on and stop being stuck, stop sacrificing yourself, really follow your own path with with uh, integrity, whatever. I'm going to do what I need to do for me and I'm. Eh, that's what I need to do, that kind of thing. You need to just be like, I can't delay this any longer. I can't delay this because every time you come around or every time we talk or every time we speak or every time we get involved, it just brings me down another notch. I don't know what this is, but I see, the, let's turn it over, and then we got this one. So I feel like you guys, I feel like you guys are headed towards abundance after you shut down something that is no longer compatible. There's too many arguments, there's too many fights, there's too much, um, there's a disconnection here that needs to be dealt with. And I think that there's an offer of, 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 well, there's not an offer. Somebody is closed off emotionally, and I think it's time for you to, you know, break free from this. You know, it's not the love of your life, okay, or whatever it is. It's not the, it's not the love that you're looking for. It's not full. The cup is spilled out. It's empty. It's upside down. There's nothing in that cup. That cup is empty. That cup is empty. And I feel like you, you know, you'd have more success if you grabbed another cup. If you just grabbed another cup and headed into your fear <coughs> instead of delaying it, you know, you wouldn't be throwing away your your stability it's like you you feel this person is bringing you backwards you are dealing with somebody that is affecting your psyche you know what i mean they're affecting your psyche that's that's the best way to put it and you have an opportunity for wish fulfillment if you go in another direction if you go in another direction you will find wish fulfillment you will find the love that you deserve you will feel the you will find the contentment the you know the gratefulness that you need but right now where you're at, you can't see it and you can't. There's a missed opportunity. You can't see it because you're dealing with somebody that is very immature and they're cold and, and they are bringing you down with them. You know, they're bringing you down with them. I, I feel as though with this judgment card, there is some sort of wake up call that is coming. Some sort of wake up call. Whew, that may ask you to step outside of your comfort zone, take that mask off, untie yourself from the situation, and walk away. Walk away. Face your fears. It's not, you're not going to be alone. You're not going to be alone. Even though you have fear of being alone. There's a lot of, there's fear of the unknown here. You're not going to be alone. And you know, I was thinking this the other day. Being alone is really the biggest strength of all. 
It really is when you don't need to be with that wrong person just to say you have somebody. That is weak. Okay, I don't know where that's coming from, but it's weak. Just to say you have, just for that relationship status or whatever it is, just, you know, that's, that's ego. When you've got to be with somebody, just even if you know they're the wrong one, whether it's a, whatever the case is. I mean, and I, this could just be a companion, you know, if it's not a, a sexual partner or a spouse or whatever, this could be a companion. This is like, you know, I don't want to be alone. <coughs> And I don't, I really, really, really don't want to be alone, even though I know that this isn't good for me. And that's kind of like what this situation is. I think somebody in this Aries dynamic is involved with somebody that is hurting them. And the only way that they're going to bring abundance and happiness back to their lives is to seriously face their fears of loneliness, face their fears of the unknown, and walk away so the universe can bring you what you deserve. Okay, <clears throat> but it's going to take strength to do that, right? It takes strength. Right now, you're missing an Ace of Cups opportunity, a true love opportunity because somebody is still bringing you down, you know, and, and that's the way it is when you're vibrating on a low level because even if it's another person that's a psychic vampire, okay, if you're vibrating on a low level, then you obviously don't appreciate yourself. You don't love yourself enough to say, you know what, I'd be better off out of this situation than involved in this drama. Because there is drama here. There is absolutely drama here. And I think this drama that you're involved in is bringing you backwards. You have to find the strength to cut free. To cut free from it so that you can send that message to the universe that you have faith in them, that you believe in them, that you're listening to what they're telling you to do. And when you do that, this, 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 this is the Hierophant, this part, this is your, wow, well, it's like a Jesus consciousness. It's, they mean so much. This right here is like you, once you believe in yourself and you listen, they will bring you more. You know, they'll bring you more, but you have to believe. You have to have faith, believing in yourself, believing in your own path. And you have to set clear intentions about what you deserve. If you're telling them that you don't, that you deserve to be this drama, if you deserve to stay here, if you stay in a situation, that's what you're telling them that you deserve. And long, we're not, we're going to stop there. Okay, it's time for your rebirth. It's time for you to face this pain, right? It's not easy to give birth. It's not easy. It's not. But for you to get to the other side and receive the miracle that you deserve, you're going to go through some pain. And that involves, you know, release. Because to have a baby, you have to really, you have to go through some serious pain to get to that baby, to get to that miracle. So I think that there's an opportunity for, uh, a rebirth here for you for you to go in a new journey but you're gonna have to face some pain first and there is gonna be some pain and this pain has to do with a release you have to walk away from something you know fear of being single because now this mother that she becomes two you know you will find some your somebody to take care of you will and somebody will take care of you but you're gonna have to go through a struggle a big one first, okay? Um, you have to do what's right for you, Aries. I feel like it's time for you to face your fears and um, free yourself, okay? you got to free yourself. This is These are both freedom. Goodbye. It's over. It's done. I am completing this chapter. I'm no longer going to be stressed over this. I am no longer going to hold on to this. I'm no longer going to think about this. I am no longer going to carry this around with me. I'm releasing it once and for all, and I'm not going back. I don't know if you can do that, though, can you? It's like not using your power, not, not being honest. This is the sort of truth, reverse, not, you know. You have to find the power to do so. Nobody is going to do it for you. You are, you, now this is, 
upright, it's a wake-up call, kind of like this one. It is. It's, a, it's a receiving some sort of awakening or a message, some sort of clarity. By staying in this situation that is causing you to be feel powerless... It's just going to prolong. It's just going to prolong the pain. You know, you'll, you'll, have, you'll go into like, what's that, that phase called? That when you stay pregnant for too long? It doesn't matter, but whatever. You know, you have an opportunity to go right now. You're ready. You're ready. Prolonging it is just going to make it more uncomfortable. That's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, I feel like you guys need to make a decision, a practical, logical decision in regards to what is best for you. you got somebody in the mix that is bringing you down. They're affecting your success. They're affecting your um, the true opportunity that you are supposed to receive. They're keeping you in some sort of lack. And I think it's time for you to, to, to wake up and release. Don't deny it. No more denying it. You have to take that mask off. I feel like there's going to be so, there's been somebody there's been some sort of lie or secret that is going to come out that hopefully pushes you outside of your comfort zone and helps you to free yourself from this situation that isn't helping you okay you're in a situation that is not helping you I think you're at a, a point of of collapse okay I do I think this is you're 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 doing too much you're doing too much you're putting in a lot of effort into something that doesn't give you what you deserve, okay? You deserve peace. You deserve harmony. Anyway, I feel like you guys need to make a logical decision here, which you haven't been. I'm sorry to tell you that. Somebody needs to really step outside of their head because they're hanging on to an empty cup. It's empty. It's empty. But there's an opportunity for love down the road with that four of cups down there underneath. There, there is, but you're missing that opportunity because you're still involved in this drama. There's some drama here. And even if it's family drama, it lowers your vibration. Okay, it does. Aries. Ooh, discovering truth. And that is, this is the truth. This is a truth card. You stand in the light of truth. Some, there is going to be some truth that comes out. Hopefully it pushes you in the right direction. Listen to the wisdom that rises from your soul, even if those around you don't agree. See? Trust your instincts. Be yourself, whatever the situation, and respond from the authentic place inside. Be starkly honest with yourself. And somebody hasn't been. Speak your truth. Live your truth. Walk your talk. Listen to your inner guidance. Uh, here we go. We were talking about that. And follow it. You radiate the energy of truth to others so that they can find their truth. If you are facing a decision, which you are, and your mind says one thing and your heart says another, follow the dictates of your heart and you'll be on the right path. If you get a nudge to speak to someone or go in a particular direction, don't hesitate. Follow this guidance. On your journey, others may indicate what path you should take and why. 
you can listen to their advice. However, if your heart indicates another way, follow that. Like I, I said, follow your own path many times, I think, in this reading. If not, I was thinking it. Um, there's a place inside of yourself that always knows the truth. Take, take time to be still, to discover that genuine place of knowing within. Often the hardest thing about living your truth is discovering what it is. So it's important to slow down, be quiet, and listen to the whispers of your soul. If there's an area of your life in which you are not being authentic or where you're not in integrity with your values, this is the time to make some changes. It's time. It's time. It's time for you to head in the direction of your authenticity, of your heart. Don't let anybody else's, don't worry about them. Right now it's about you. Talk to you next time.